such a spiritual moment to you. <laughs> oh, did I Sick. say that live? Sick. <laughs> no, I just started the live now. So <laughs> we are back. We are back. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we are just experiencing some technical technical difficulties. Yeah, more so internet connections. Okay. Anyways, yeah, let's hope let's hope that's a lot better, guys. So yeah, we're just hanging out. Thought we would try something different here. You know, you guys are used to seeing the Power Times live videos. Live videos. But 2020, we want to try different things and try innovate more on this page. That is the idea behind this page. Um, we want to create a social hub, you know, where people can call home, where people can feel comfortable, express themselves. And through Pow Wow is like one of the best ways right and we are we are happy to bring those live videos the, those recorded videos hi jow trey said oh hi <laughs> yeah hi, jow. good afternoon guys hey what's going i see you guys uh tony miller good afternoon good afternoon john miller from six nations what's good john miller six nations hey i have um a really good friend who's a <laughs> why can't i think of his name right now yeah sean we've seen that technical difficulty we were just uh, experiencing issues there with the uh, connections and settings so i think we got it what's good jesse i have a good friend from six nations named jordan miller um actually got to go to six nations power in when, what year was that 2018 yeah 2018. and what a beautiful power that was uh the, the food that they had there and the hospitality and kind of seeing um, your guys' reserve and all the things you're doing with tobacco and all that stuff right there. It was so sweet. Man. It was really cool to go visit down in your area, in the Six Nations area. But we really plan to travel to a lot of different places this year and get new content from different different pals all over, all over North America and getting that content out for you guys. Oh, so... Nice. So Jordan is a very close cousin to you. Right on, man. He's a really good friend of mine. I, I met him years ago, and um, we connect all the time. So really good people over there. Shout out to Six Nations. You know, we see you and uh, all the other people tuning in. So we have a lot of uh, ideas. You know, me and Marmar have been talking about how do we grow power times to the next level. I feel like we kind of hit like a, a ceiling when it just comes to just power content. Um, our growth has not been as fast as, as it used to. So we're, we're figuring out how do we branch into different areas and we're, we're looking into language because um, preserving language, we're looking into teaching more cultural things outside of just powwow. And the big thing was, you know, there's a lot of perceptions about indigenous people and we, re we, want, we really want to break those perceptions and show like all the success that, that a lot of our in indigenous people have out there. We have indigenous lawyers, doctors now, we have NHL players, people who are doing things professionally, we have gamers and um, we want to shed light on all our people to show that, that we have a lot of good people. Yeah, like uh, breaking barriers, right? Like <clears throat> take the concept of our ancestors uh the old warriors the old way of providing for families hunting fishing gathering you know close-knit right and then how do we as native americans in this day and age you know uh, adapt yet maintain our cultural beliefs our cultural practices right so it's about motivating one another for sure that's what we are trying to do with not only powwow times, but with our own endeavors, right? Is to encourage one another. Yeah, for real. And just keep moving forward and bring positivity. And like said, with powwow times, we are experimenting with different things. We are going to do different things on this channel for 2020. Not just live feeds. Like there will be live feeds. Mm -hmm. But we want to inspire. We want to try different things people can see us succeed whether it's through podcasting and just trying other areas where we can expand shout out to colin stone child you know you guys are saying real wicked this weekend we were in uh, dakota dunes powell you guys seen a lot of uh the live streams going on there we'll have a lot of that content put on on our youtube channel our facebook channel so you guys will want to go there and subscribe um we're really pushing out a lot of content on our youtube 
It'd be really cool if you guys go and subscribe and uh, it help, uh, helps out our channel grow. Shout out to who's that edit from Germany. So, you know, we have a, a lot of people going in. Um, got New Zealand in the house. I actually have a really good friend from New Zealand. They came out to um, my, my brother's event, uh, Think Indigenous. Chris Scribe hosts an event called Think Indigenous. Got to meet a lot of people from New Zealand that came out and they did their their dance, their and it was really amazing to see, you know, all the beautiful indigenous people across uh, Turtle Island, everywhere out there, and to learn from different people. I think that's a really beautiful thing about POW is you get to go to different nations and learn, you know, just how how they carry their lives. You can you hear their language through their songs, also through the announcers and the people that you meet. A cool thing that I love about POW is um, when I travel that the hospitality of the people, they kind of just take you in. Yeah. And when we were in in Texas uh, a few years ago, me and um, if you guys follow Bustle Dome, you know, Eric Mentuck, we were in uh, Texas and we had people take us in just like we we're a family. It was really, really cool to have a bunch of people kind of when you when you're traveling around a Powell trail, you, you meet Powell people who become Powell family. And that's what I, I love about this this community that we have in in Powell. Tell me a little bit of, of about how you got started with Powell, and y- you know what you've been able to do with your photography, and uh, where you're going with your streaming and things like that. <coughs> okay, so like I said, my name is Marlon Wikas Marmar. You guys all know me as Marmar. Marmar Photography. I'm sure you guys seen the pictures on Facebook. How I got involved with Powell was years ago. I was young, you know, kid. 10, 11 years old, uh, dancing traditional. I danced traditional for about two years, and then I just stopped. It's one of my biggest regrets in my life, but kind of not really because I wouldn't be where I am today, right? I believe things happen for a reason, and I'm honestly happy where I am at now. But anyways, yeah, like, uh, young teen, trying to be cool. You know the story how that is. Uh, basketball, sports, high school, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, like, I stepped away for such a long time. I I did some things, not bad things, but I mean, like, I went down trails that I felt, like, affected my life in such a negative way that I'm not happy about. Um, I'm currently sober for about three and a half years. And how, what guided me through that was powwow. Powwow. I turned to my culture. I've turned to dancing. I, it helped me heal in ways that I cannot imagine. So that's how I came back to the powwow circle. And it's just been it's just been such a good experience. The people are amazing. It's very, very welcoming. Doug said, tell Jao to take his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. A couple of shout outs on our chat here. Uh, Yvonne Kelly was, is um, letting everyone know that they're Pao, uh, Ani Gaming, First Nation. Sorry if I butchered that. It's July 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So, you know, Pao season's just around the corner. Hey, Peter, um, all the way from Sioux Lookout, Ontario, you guys have a beautiful community. I was actually out there in Sioux Lookout um, this past year in June and got to speak at the graduation that you guys had over there but the people were so cool there they took me out fishing and you have beautiful waters down there it's so beautiful place to be in uh, Sioux Lookout Ontario so shout out we got a shout out from Italy as well uh, Giovanni what's up and uh, you know all the people that are that are tuning in you know this is all Powell family here Curtin Favel Doug Morin all these people I want to I want to say something about Angela. Angela says I dance powwows here in Germany in women's fancy shawl and jingle dress wow, category. Awesome. That is awesome. All the way in Germany. You know what? You should get powwow times out there. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, Invite up? us out. <laughs> we'll definitely come out. Set that up. Nice yeah. To see you. You know what? I, I I'm starting to see more and more powwow happening overseas you know they i see that they they really love our culture over there um um yeah so that's it's pretty cool to see that uh we have influence in the world that that people love our culture and the big thing about palatines is i wanted to a way for our youth to connect with culture i wanted our, our way for our youth to to basically s- see dancing to see how 
and especially a lot of our urban youth because a lot of them are disconnected with culture. We have a, a large um, cultural genocide that happened in Canada, a cultural disruption where a lot of our, our families, uh, um, they don't have their culture anymore, you know, residential schools, 60 scoop, things that happen. So a big thing that we do is we try to service this, this market and when they're scrolling on Facebook, they see POW and they, they get connected with that somehow. They're like, wow, hearing this drum makes me feel a certain way and it, it, it could, they could go through our page and then see this POW and then maybe that gives them enough motivation to go check out a POW and then reconnect with their culture. So I just think it's a kind of a beautiful thing that, that we, we have going on and all the people that um, help share our videos, you know, thank you so much. Hello, Priscilla from the Navajo Nations, the Four Corners of Utah. Um, Delea from the Paiute tribe, Northern Nevada. Um, I like to gas up at the Paiute gas station when I'm on my way to Vegas. <laughs> Man, it's so yeah. awesome. They, they let you use your status card <laughs> yeah. there, which is so awesome. So all you Canadians who are traveling on Interstate 15, I think it is, or what is it? All the way down I to I-15, yeah. all the way to Vegas. You can stop at the Paiute tribe and they, they, they give you some discount gas with your, um, with your status card. It's awesome. <laughs> See, see, we're all we're all seasoned travelers here. Like us three, we've been all over. We've been all over. Very, very fortunate and very thankful. And we have Pao to thank for that. You know, Pao has taken us all over. Mm -hmm. And very thankful for the people I've met. You know, the friends I've made from all over. Right? Like it's Pao is, is a way of life for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's up, TJ Warren? Just in the house. TJ is a really good um, world champion uh, chicken dancer. You know, I learned a lot from the bro TJ, especially when uh, presenting about powwow. Um, Holy, this Jow is popular. Jow, <laughs> <laughs> Jow. Yeah. Congrats on the dub, uh, yeah. TJ. <clears throat> yeah. Why don't you say hello to all your fans here, everyone? Hi, <laughs> all my fans. I think everyone actually didn't yeah. tune in to watch us. They're, yeah. they're, they're tuning in to, to see a little bit oh, of Jow. Uh, happy birthday to Doug. Yeah. Oh yeah, Doug mm -hmm. Morin. You know he's a singer. He hey sang with Sharpshooters. Actually, Doug. Happy you know, Doug is another live streamer that I network with. Uh, he hasn't been live streaming for a while, but he also does the video game live streaming. Mm -hmm. I do the video game live stri live streaming. Uh, shameless, shameless plug. You can follow me at Marmar Gaming on Facebook. I do the photography as well, Marmar Photography. So feel free. You know, support a brother. And the thing with Pow Wow Times, why we love doing it, we feel it's our way also as archiving and also keeping our culture alive, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we're keeping a record of these these songs being sung, these, you know, these language keepers, these, these dancers, the styles, to be able to record them, to post them, to share them with you guys. Like, that's, in, in our sense, it makes us feel good in a way that we are doing our part, uh, keeping language and culture practices alive that you know that we're slowly losing which is unfortunate but we can keep it alive we can keep it going like to do uh what what, what marmar is saying you know it, it's great because with music you could learn language pretty cool and it's pr it kind of a, a simplified way to learn your language so when when i hear northern Cree sing and i like uh, who doesn't love Northern Cree, right? So you could hear in, in Wild Horse and uh, Iron Swing, all these these singers, you can hear the language being sung in the in the song and you sing along with it and unconsciously you're learning your language is real cool. That's very, very true. I've had my experiences where I'm driving along, I'm listening to Northern Cree, they're speaking Cree. You, same with Young Spirit, mm. you know? Oh, yeah. Like Young Spirit, they have a song, you know, Oteaske. Like, I've learned that song from front to back and just understanding what it means. You know, it's that's that's learning language. Mm -hmm. Like you said, learning through music, right? Imagine, like, when our youth kind of kind of get to listen to all that and, and they start changing and they start uh, speaking the words. It's really, really, really cool to see when my, my kids, they come into the... To the the house and they're like what does astam mean what does uh, and you know and they're saying all these Cree words and it just makes my heart kind of yeah that's awesome uh, we were at the Dakota dunes power last night i want to do the shout out to all the singing winners i have them right here in my hand uh shout out to blackstone singers you were the number one um 
uh, drum group this weekend in terms of points. And then second place, Wild Horse Singers. Third place goes out to Black Otter. Fourth place, Sharp Shooter. And then fifth place, Iron Swing. And then Whitefish Juniors and Mountain Sioux. Congratulations to all you singers out there that, uh, you know, I know... You know, singing is a hard job, and to have all those, those you're, you're managing, you know, 10, 12 singers, and they all have to be on time, drum roll call, and you all, everyone needs to know the songs. I know sometimes at, the, uh, at a weekend, you don't have all your drummers there, so you have to pick up some singers, and, and now they have to learn the songs, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process, man, and there's a lot of work that people don't know goes into singing so i hopefully we do our job in promoting you as a drum group so you guys get more fans and more people and and do what's up so i don't know if any of the fans here want to uh throw in some questions and ask and you know don't be afraid to share this video or so give us a heart you know send in a heart with the video as hit well hit that share button guys hit that share button the more the better right like i can't stress this enough as a live streamer myself video game content creator like a share is free a share is free for you to hit the share button mm -hmm. it goes a long way it goes it does so much more than just you know hitting a button it means we're reaching more people which is always great we're building the platform which is always great and just informing people in general or creating you know a voice for other people basically there we go. I have to go love. What's up, Joe Nicotine? Uh, he's online right here. We have um, Melina Ray. What's up? Kay. Oh, what was your favorite Powell of 2019? How about you, Joe? You go first here. Favorite Powell of 2019? Uh, Bismarck, North Dakota, United Tribes. Mm. Why is that? The singing, the singing was really, really good. Sweet, <laughs> nice and <laughs> short, nice and short, short and yeah. sweet. <laughs> um, you know what? This year I didn't really travel uh, uh, many cr crazy places like I usually have. Um, but the year before that, I really want to like. I, I went to different places that I've never been before, and Lame Deer, Montana, was such a great power, even though it was so so hot. They had the feeds was so awesome. Um, and this is me when I went to like Shakopee and I went to Prairie Island. I went to all these different places and that lame deer power really stood out to me. Um, for adults too, they let us they let us chill out during the hot day and just dance in the evenings. It was real laid back. There was a lot of time for visiting and they had amazing specials. They had drum groups from all over the place that came and the, the hospitality was just, I, I had a really good feeling a good time being there and, and meeting all the the people from uh, Lame Deer, Montana. So that that was something that really stood out to me. That was a really good pal. Um, we had a really good one day travel. We went to Soboba. It was they had their one day uh, yeah. ca California yeah. pal. But what was good about that was uh, all the family time that we got. And got to meet all the family, and then we went to Universal Studios, things like that. So we had a really good time uh, traveling all the way to th that. What is the topic in your area on solar power? Ooh, that's a tough question. That is very unrelated to power times. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, solar, solar power is very frowned upon, I guess, in the Saskatchewan area. Mainly because uh, mm -hmm. Sask Power has a monopoly. In Saskatchewan, yeah. Yeah, it's really bad for that. They have a monopoly. so There's a lot of um, kind of uh, p politics you got to go through in order to create that solar power in Saskatchewan yes. because they have a monopoly. In in, in Alberta, you have uh, communities like Muskochees. They're actually, they have a plan for their whole reserve to be run on to solar panels, um, solar energy, which is really cool. You know, in Alberta, there's a lot more kind of open um, market for that. And I see a lot of different indigenous communities using the solar um, area with that. Actually, I have a buddy, you know, we could bring on and future podcast who's an expert in this area and this is all he focuses on is renewable energies and how to turn your house into kind of more green and things like that so shout out to my bro nathan um and he lives in calgary so he'll maybe it's uh, something that we want to do 
But <clears throat> what we wanted to do originally with just this podcast is just to connect with our, our, our family here on Pow Times, all the people who are top fans, who send hearts, who share our videos, and do all kinds of things like that. We wanted to connect with you and let you know, and you know, we're going to be doing more shout outs like this to who you are and give you bringing you kind of the content that you want so based on what you guys tell us you know with your with the comments with we get messages all the time on power times and i know one of the comments here was hey can we send you our videos yeah you know that's something that we could do too is, uh, if you send us your videos at the powers you're going to we could highlight the, you know the videos that um i know we've done that plenty of times where a drum group who's just starting off who are really good they they send us our videos and they ask if we could share it so we'll repost it on our page and they get thousands and thousands of views and the, just to bring light on our people and the talents that are out there so really 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 good john miller we'll see you you know you gotta go you know go eat fry bread is done and you don't want to miss out for sure <laughs> <laughs> keep up with the podcast oh yeah that's one thing we want to know do you guys enjoy this type of content like just even just hanging out right like mm -hmm. live chatting like it's it's fun it really really is you guys are used to just seeing oh power times is live there's a power right now and you guys see a video but i assume once you've seen that notification that power times was live and you you've seen this mm -hmm. um like i hope you guys enjoy it like it's something different we are definitely going to be trying new things in the new year Shout out to Dale Roberts, who's just got on here. Hoka Sound, he does a lot of uh, sound systems for uh, the Powers. Probably like the, the premier world-class sound that you can get at a Power or just crisp. When you're dancing, sound makes a, a big difference when yeah. you're out there, yeah. man. When you can hear that drum and, and it feels like it, it just, it's perfect, man. And Dale Roberts kind of has that really good dialed in. So for all you guys that are, are thinking about making a POW, you got an upcoming POW, go to Hoka Sound. You could you could um, search it on Facebook and send send Dale a message and, and see how about getting him to your POW because as a dancer, you know, that sound is so important. It makes a huge difference at a, at a POW. And, you know, if you that's like one of the premier sound systems that you can get you know check out hoka sound on, on facebook so check them out and you know there's a ellie first time listening live what's up we see you yo 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 doug morin jow's a deadly guy short and sweet <laughs> 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 yeah for yeah. sure um, <laughs> Uh, Wayne Vincent Red Eagle says hi. What's up, uh, Wayne? Uh, we see you. It's good to, to have all you guys tuning in here and and hi just hi having hi that hi. a part of it. What uh, up, upcoming pals are you looking forward to, Jal, and uh, coming up in the near future here that maybe you can? Uh, what are you uploading right now too, so people could see on YouTube what to expect? What to expect coming up? I think we're gonna do the um, Dakota Dunes. Um, when we get back home. Okay. Um, right now we're doing the Samson. Samson uh, Paolo. There is a lot of videos. Yeah, there's a lot of videos. <laughs> a lot, lot of, of work. A lot <coughs> of work. So if any of you listeners out there, any of our, our, our fans that are fans of Paolo Times who have businesses or maybe deep pockets and you want to uh, you want to um, you know help help power yeah. times you know we will promote you you know we'll put your your, your tag um, your watermark in our videos uh, just some ideas that we got going moving on to 2020 to grow our channel so we could get the right um, equipment and grow our <laughs> grow this so we can reach more people we also all have a dream to host our own power so power times will be hosting our own powers we're actually in talks to have our first power in the end of may of 2020 our first pow times pow and we're partnering up with a college so um we're really working on that when it comes to to <laughs> it says spit some rhymes we actually have some uh ex uh, hip-hop people yo, here yeah, that, yo, might, yo, that yo. might have to spit some rhymes old school, <laughs> old school, man. yeah uh shout out to elvin nicotine the mailman himself safe Mail travels man. to him out in oklahoma oh, safe yes. travels my travels shout out to sheldon wetney you know he does a lot of uh things for indigenous people out there connecting people uh, and workers to industry as well uh sh we see you yeah shout out to you also angela from germany what's up it says uh 
from Germany are the most POWs are too far, so I can't do it. Sorry. Well, you know, that's why you have a thing like POW Times to bring you the content. So you, it's almost like you're there. You can watch the videos, connect with uh, really good drum groups, and watch the dancing. So it's really good. Um, Priscilla, hemp questions. How does other nations think about the topics of hemp and a major impact into the wor third world? There you go, bro. Oh, that, that's <laughs> tough. Hemp. Hemp. Yeah. I, it's a very touchy subject. It varies from person to person. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I'm all for hemp and business, being that my personal belief, it is a plant. It doesn't belong in the circle. I'm going to say that. It doesn't belong there. But for other uses, medicinal. Have you watched documentaries about hemp or thc or marijuana like helping kids you know helping children that have like uh caesars and stuff mm -hmm. things like that like if it if it's helping somebody deal with pain that's unbearable or helping people cope whether it's depression and it's used in a responsible way i'm all for him i'm all for him in that way that's mm. that's just my personal opinion and belief on it we got daniel's tie he you know talking about power tutorials help with bustle making we actually have a, a bustle making video course, course yes. coming out in the early new year here so basically it's going to be totally free and you could sign in it's going to be on our powertons.ca website and so we're going to be launching that pretty soon where you could follow along step by step by step how to make bustles. Because um, interestingly, a lot of our, our members on Power Times are bustle makers and bustle creators. And we get a lot of orders that we can't fulfill because there's just too many orders. So what we thought of an idea was to, to, to create videos teaching you step by step how to make these bustles. So now you could create bustles from home and things like that. So more people could become dancers. Nick. We got a guy from uh, Nick Nicholas says, Marmar, we should collab on photography. Look me up, Wabanaki Photography. Shout out to Wabanaki Photography. Look them up on, uh, I, I think, on all social medias and see if you could give them a follow, right? Yeah, yeah, I know Nick Nicholas. Nick Nicholas. Yeah, for sure, bro. We can definitely work on something. Whenever I'm in there, your area for a power or something, I will give you a shout, bro, for sure. Patches says the power times bring out some deadly videos. What's up, Patches? Thank you. Denise says would love to see a pow live at Penn State Pow in April. Man, if they have a pow and they want to bring us out, man, it'd be so that sweet to go awesome. live. That'd be sweet. Nick, Nicholas, keep up the work, hard work. You guys got my support. That's awesome. So go over to Wabanaki um, Photography. Is he on Facebook, Instagram? I think so, yeah. Wabanaki Photography. LLC, it says. What I what I find, you know, it's uh, we have a lot of lateral violence when it comes to it, it, people who are indigenous who are trying to make it in something. You know, it'd be really cool if we just went out and started supporting our people and supporting our artists, supporting our creators, supporting our our, our people who are trying to do something with their lives because we need to see that light. We need to see people succeed, so our youth can see that and see what's possible out there. So. You know, when you see a guy like Wabanaki Photography, go over there and like their page, share their stuff. It really helps out an artist. It really helps out a creator. It really boosts morale mm -hmm. and gives motivation to creators. Like I myself, I feed off of other people. I feed off of people's energies. I feed off, you know, a simple, hey, good work, good job. You know, we need to start doing that more amongst Native people. Like, mm -hmm. we need to encourage each other, right? Like, it's a good feeling to, t to hear that. Good job. You are doing something different. Right on, you know. And instead of, like, hearing somebody, oh, that's not going to work. You know, it's let's stop doing that. 2020, let's motivate one another. Mm -hmm. Let's push each other. Even... You don't have to believe in the same things they do, but if they believe it, then let them, let them, you know, push them. That's, mm -hmm. that's my opinion on that. For sure, man. So, uh, 
So grateful for your life, E. Thank you much, so much. Powers.com. That powers.com is uh, the other entity, you know. You know, but shout out to powers.com <laughs> as well. The other guys. <laughs> Those are the other guys, but you know, shout out to powers.com. They they really kind of set the standard in the industry of, of uh, power, kind of sharing streams, live streams, yeah. all kinds of stuff. They do really great things. I think they're slowly reaching a million followers on their Facebook. So go over there, give them a, a like, give them a follow. Um, they do really amazing things. I know their blog and their website is, uh, they, they put out a lot of good indigenous content. So it's so, so really cool that they're doing that. Uh, what else do we got out here? Just checking out this, this the feed. We have a lot of comments coming in. A lot of people, you know, it's really cool. To finally connect with our community, yeah, you know, we've yeah. never done this where uh, our, we're actually talking with our community, seeing the comments, and seeing what people want. We got Melina Ray all the way from North Carolina. So all the people that are coming in, just think about it: there's, there's people from New Zealand, Germany, yeah. New, uh, um, Italy, kind of everywhere. So does Marmar play Apex Legends? They want to know that. Do I play Apex <laughs> Legends? I definitely play Apex Legends. I'm mostly on Xbox and PC, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I am frequently all over. I do a variety stream. You can catch me over at Marmar Gaming on Facebook. We do everything from... Currently, we're doing a playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. We are doing um, some plays on Dead by Daylight, which is awesome. I was sucked into it. And I do a lot of Fortnite customs, and I play Apex Legends. I do it all, bro. Got Terry Mel Thunderchild uh, says, Hey, Pat, who's on your panel there? Introduce them. But first... Thunderchild has a wicked power that happens in, uh, is it early August, August I think? Early August. They changed it. It used to be right after. Or was it late August? I can't remember. It used to be late July, right uh -huh. after Onion Lake. Yeah. But I think they've been having it in August. Yeah, they have a yeah. really awesome pow. A real lot of good drum groups go there. They have a lot of great specials. Um, you know what I really liked about Thunderchild Pow this year was they really took care of their porta potties. I know porta potties <laughs> are a really yeah, big, yeah. big talk about Pow because it sucks to go to a porta potty and it's like, you know, know, here's a here's a <laughs> Pow tip. Mean? Hashtag Pow tip. <laughs> when you see the people cleaning the porta potties, go ask them their schedule so you can time your washing breaks. There you go. There's a pile <laughs> tip right there. And, uh, and uh, give them some money. <laughs> yeah, give them, bring them a, a tip. meal or something. Yeah. Thunderchild, they they had that unlocked this year. So every time we went to use uh, the porta potty, I was really surprised how clean it was, and the power was really really great. So. You know who's on my panel here? Um, we we did introduce them in the in the beginning. The beginning Maybe yeah. we could do a little quick intro. Uh, again, my name is Marmar Marmar Wikas. You guys know me on Facebook as Marmar Photography, Marmar Gaming. Mm -hmm. I do live streams for video games. I do a photography a lot for myself and as well for Power Times. Not so much the video side of things, but I'm learning and I'm trying to do more of that this year. That is the goal. I'm gonna hit so many powers this year. So make sure you come say hi. Mm -hmm. And I am Jared Whitefish. Or Jow. Jow. Or Jow. <coughs> and Jow also here. Also known as Jow. Being real humble here. He's a, a fancy dancer, champion fancy dancer. He travels all over. Uh, our video editor. So if you see all those cool videos going up on, on every morning on, on our Facebook page, he's responsible for having that morning video out to you. So if you don't have it, you know, that morning video for some reason has to go out that day. Go on his personal Facebook page and send him a message. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I have a lot of Facebook messengers. Um, Doug Martin says Star Wars tonight, bros. I, I think that's a good idea. It is your yeah, birthday, yeah. and uh, it was my birthday like two days ago. Oh man! So maybe I gotta <laughs> I gotta buy two tickets here, then take the bros out for uh, for uh, their birthdays. Hey, Philip Musuman, what's up? He's watching. Uh, I think um, you're in Colorado now. Hey, I think so. Philip Musuman, uh, he's been ha he's the one that's been housing us every time we go to Albuquerque, New Mexico, at the Gathering of Nations Pow. He opens up the his door for us so thank you so much you know we've been able to go to gatherings and get all that really good content and, and post it on our, our social medias which is really really cool and uh yeah we just have a lot of good plans for this year and this we just said hey marmar you have all this cool equipment here we should do a live podcast and connect with our community see what they want and kind of give them our plans kind of rolling out for the 2020 year and 2020 is going to be a big big year guys mm big year for growth for everything smith gale says happy birthday as well thank you so much for that um 
So for 20, 2020, uh, a thing that we're going to roll out so on Mondays. Okay, uh, okay, one second. I have a, a question, not <coughs> only for chat, but for these two. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, what is your 2020 resolution? Mm -hmm. 2020 resolution. Here's what I do. I, I have a lot of goals, and every, every single year in the beginning of the year, my family, we have this tradition to, to write out our goals. But we also have a word of the year that we're going to, that word is kind of give us our theme for the year. So last year, kind of my, my, my word for the year was integrity, meaning because I, I did a lot of public speaking and I go to a lot of communities and I, I talk to the youth and my integrity part was I'm going to do what I say and say what I do. So if I'm telling the youth, so, you know, giving them advice or giving them stories and things like that to live a healthy lifestyle, I had to make sure that. I live that, that I am embodying what I was saying. So that last year, my whole thing was living by that word, integrity. This year, my, my word is going to be fatherhood and relationships. So I noticed last year I was so busy with traveling. I was going to different communities that, that there was an impact on my relationships and my family. So my fatherhood and my relationships is going to be kind of forefront for this year. With my kids growing up, you know, time can go by so fast, but if you're not paying attention. So I want to make sure that I'm in the now, you know, like with my with my kids and with my family and making sure that I strengthen my relationships with um, with my with everyone around me. That's important to me. So that's kind of my resolution is to live by that word fatherhood and uh, relationships. Uh, for my new re uh, resolution, I want to do one book a month read one book a month because I'm, cu I'm currently going through um, changes within myself and I want to continue to grow as a person and be uh, more positive uh, um, and more confident. Mm -hmm. Like you see me now, I'm not really confident on the camera, but um, I'm working on it, you know? So that's what I really want to do this right year. On, right on. And same question back to you, brother. Uh, my resolution this year is to basically just keep growing in a sense that I want to motivate others. That is my, the bottom line always has been, is to motivate others to be uncomfortable. And by that, I mean, you grow when you are uncomfortable. So that's, that's my 2020 goal is to open up myself, do more vlogging stuff. Mm -hmm. Personally, vlogging stuff, you know, um, I feel like I'm on my way to be more, not the influencer type, but in a sense I am, but just to put out more content as a personal goal mm -hmm. and also just to keep motivating others is where I'm at the moment. Sweet, man. That's awesome. So with that, you know, every Monday we were, we we're kind of thinking this idea where kind of Marmar will talk about indigenous content kind of connect with our community here on power times but also do some gaming so it kind of gives uh people in our, our power times space uh, a kind of a safe space to hang out to ask indigenous questions talk about indigenous topics but also watch gaming at the same time so you get some entertainment out of that and, and also the help that's our way to help support our our artists here too and our, and kind of to show that that then you know you could live a, a healthy lifestyle from home and game and talk about cool stuff. So every Monday we're planning on uh, kind of like pushing that out with yeah. uh, Marmar Gaming here. So look forward to that. It's more so to to connect to you guys as well as followers of the page. Mm -hmm. You guys get to know us because all you guys, again, we say it over and over. All you guys see is the videos posted and also seeing the live feeds. But doing something like this, like a podcast, right? Like that lets you know who's behind the content that you see or created but also we are talking about like again mondays i think i might be streaming video games on powwow times i it's not to be invasive not to scare you guys away or anything but again it's like what i contribute to powwow times it lets you get to know me the person behind the camera or the pictures and stuff like that and it's a safe space where you can come hang out Mm -hmm. where you can come talk and discuss not only video games but also stuff going on in your life right like you need advice like i'm not an expert or anything but i would love to weigh in on what's going on like i that goes a lot 
on in my personal channel over at Marmar Gaming. Mm -hmm. I talk to many people that, you know, there's one follower, I'm not saying names, but like there's one follower who comes and hang, hangs out constantly and he raises a child with a disability. And he comes and expresses himself and talks about, you know, the, the trials and tribulations he faces, the, the things he goes through personally of raising a child with a disability. And I just listen. And I feel like that's what I can do is I can just listen because maybe this person doesn't have anybody to talk to or just needs to vent mm -hmm. and feels. And that's what my personal, you know, streaming page is right is a per a place to feel safe and that's why i think i can bring that over to power times hang out play some retro gamings uh meet other like-minded individuals who are into gaming and also power would be cool but again you can follow me over at marmar gaming as well on facebook okay hey uh shout out to chris badger Jer jaron levi uh gary rabbit skin all these people who jo joined in Ga virgil v vasilo brothers this is great why is in my white southern man feed and not in the feeds of my Cree friends in northwest Ontario? You know, usually the algorithm with Facebook is you never know how it's going to work. But uh, par partly is maybe because you follow our page before. Maybe you liked one of our videos. So this, this feed would show up or maybe some people who are in your friends list are watching this. So it kind of relates to you. So you might see it in your feed other than all the other ones. So. Happy birthday to my bro, Marmar Wikas and Shelby <laughs> Ignis. Uh, what's up? We see you. Thank yo, you yo, for yo. tuning in. Um, Thank yeah. you so much for that, Doug. Appreciate <laughs> it, bro. Happy birthday as well. Share, share away, guys. So, yeah, um, this thing we were, we were thinking uh, we could we could do a podcast maybe weekly, um, just depending on just how this works out. And we didn't know we'd actually get this much uh, feedback from people and all these people yeah. commenting. So it's really cool to, to connect with our Power Times family here and to see what kind of um, response that, that there is here and just to kind of have a space where we could all hang out, which is really cool. Talk about Powell. Uh, Dakota Dunes was awesome. The staff, they, they had a good uh, turnout. There's a lot of people who showed up at the Powell here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I've seen people travel from kind of all over eh? United States. Yeah, there's a lot of people. British Columbia, um, Alberta, Manitoba. There's, so there's a lot of people that came. Also at the same time was uh, Weatherford, Oklahoma. They had a powwow going on, and I seen a live feed going on over there. Uh, shout out to Dickie Baptiste just came on. Ira White Star, we see you guys. What's up? Um, yo, yo. Dickie had really great dancing this past weekend and um, good singing with sharpshooter those leads were crisp i like that yeah so a lot of powers coming up um i know in february seminoles have their power in florida and a lot of people go out for there they have a real nice power I, I know that they they do really good with hosting their visitors and for you to go out to seminole power you know you also got disney world universal studios yeah. marmar uh, knows a little bit about that I area I love Disney. I'm always in Florida. <laughs> so why At should people go over there? <laughs> and what is the experience? Well, Florida is just amazing in general. I mean, some people hate it. My kids hate the wet, like the hot weather, the sweatiness, the moist temperature. Me personally, I love it. I love the Florida <laughs> weather. I love Disney. I love Universal. It's one place I try to visit at least once a year, at least for a week, you know, two weeks, mm -hmm. maybe tops. But I love that area, and I definitely want to hit uh, hit some powwows out there. I watch videos of Pat dance down there, mm -hmm. and man, I couldn't like when I went down there. I couldn't imagine dancing in that weather, like breathing that and dancing at the same time. That sounds very, very intense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what's up, Brad? Ben, you know one of uh, my community fellow community members, Alana Tailfeathers. What's up? Uh, I seen on your Facebook that you got your uh, educational degree yes. for um, congratulations. Congratulations Congrats. on that. You know, seeing our, our indigenous people succeed is so awesome. And uh, I think you you said it was for lower grades, uh, grade three to four, like well, some of the younger kids. So th I know that's a lot of tough work. Uh, you I'm know what? Even things like that. Congrats, Alana on getting your degree mm. people are watching you know we we say it or show our appreciation as, as simple as a like button 
but you don't realize the impact you have on individuals, not only as us, but other people around you. Mm -hmm. Like, congratulations, that is big. Mm -hmm. And it does affect people. It really does. How about giving a heart on this video for, you know, Atlanta Tail Feathers and all the other people who are going out there and getting their education. Uh, you know, we have our elders tell us all the time that education is our, our new buffalo and that buffalo is our way of surviving and a way of um, taking care of our people. So really cool seeing, you know, it's so inspiring to see all these people who go out there and to see that we have doctors out there now and lawyers and people who are starting their businesses and people who are pursuing their passions. Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Yes. And, you know, even people who set up a powwow. You know, I, I got to sit down with uh, the creator of Manitowabi and uh, ask kind of what goes on. And I also got to sit down with Donnie Spidell, one of the, you know, these people that you see behind the scenes who are creating big, big POWs and just the, the amount of work that is behind the scenes on the POW when it comes to like sponsorship, fundraising and getting a team together and getting people together, posters out and getting the venue and getting community members involved. Like there's so much work that goes into a POW that we don't see. All we see is when we go there and we have fun and we're, we're dancing and, and that's it, right? And we leave and then people have things to say about the POW after, good or bad. But just the amount of work to bring people together, to bring community together in a safe space where we're practicing culture, hearing the language, visiting with people is huge. And so shout out to all the people out there that create POWs for us to go and, you know, create content for people <laughs> as well. So. so Ty Daniels has a question. It says, to what extent can you go with face paint for dancing, thinking of looking like the crow? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, it's a <laughs> the sky's the limit. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've seen a lot of people get real creative with their um, their face paint. Uh, one of the people that I, I really love with the designs they do is Jason Daniels. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. paint is amazing. Also, uh, Josh Bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah, Josh Bear, and uh, and then there's people who do real simple. You know, the simple it looks really good as well. Um, for me, I just I've never really got into the face paint when it when it comes to dancing. I'm a fancy dancer. I love fancy dancing from Canada. Um, Here's a, the crazy thing is like fancy dancing in Canada, you know, a lot of the heroes are in the United States, you know, all those those big, big, huge names. But I also have a lot of heroes here in Canada. I always looked up to Laz Roan as a dancer. I think he's like one of the greatest. Shout out to the Lake Spike Draper. Mm. Also, you know, um, let's take a moment here. I want to, there's a world champion chicken dancer who just uh, went into the spirit world. I want to. Um, give him some time. I got to spend some time with him before he passed. Um, Barry Curry. Yeah, Barry Curry. And just want to say our condolences to the family, um, the people that you know he uh, he's been a part of. I know he's, he's loved everywhere. And me and my family got to spend some time with him uh, about eight months ago. So you know, hopefully, uh, um, you know, just our condolences out to the family. Got uh, Eric Mentuck in the house, and you know, Bustle, Bustle Dome. Dome. Bustle Dome. Yeah. Um, he's also one of the guys that does a lot of the live feeds at certain POWs that, that he's at, and a lot of videos on Facebook. Um, so he does a lot, you know, and he, he's created bustles for people all over the world. Uh, I know Pete Moore uh, was rocking out one of his bustles, just busting them out here in, in the Oklahoma POW that just, I think, finished up. Uh, or is it finished up today? I'm not sure. But the, they just had their power this weekend. And so a lot of those fancy dancers are wearing uh, bustles. You can check out Bustle Dome and kind of see all the work that he's done. Uh, I know that uh, he's going by request now because like, uh, he gets so much order. So you might uh, have uh, exclusive. just exclusive. Yeah. Exclusive, man. You know, check it out. But, you know, there's a lot of ar artists out there that are creating and we like to support our artists and, and highlight them. So a uh, question for chat uh, for people that are tuned in right now. What do you guys think of this kind of live video? I'm curious because we can definitely make it a weekly thing to a podcast. It wouldn't be us sitting here. It would be like us uh, together on a web feed. Same thing, sitting in our own homes, talking, chatting, things like that. And 
We could put things like this up on Spotify as well. Mm. To what extent? Oh, no, we already read that one. So, yeah. Man, it, you know, thanks for all the comments that are coming in, all the questions, because yeah, it does it does help keep the video going. Um, uh, we never, we didn't really have a certain topic that we wanted to go into this video with. We just wanted to like say, hey, let's let's go live, let's connect with our our, our Pow Times family, and then you know, I think as we carry on a podcast um, throughout the year, we could bring in certain individuals where it's more specific on on a topic, and we really dive into that topic. Or we can highlight uh, things in people's lives that they've accomplished. Like we mm-hmm. have a lot of connections over at Power Times. We have a lot of amazing friends and colleagues that have done amazing things. You know, whether it's business, whether it's fashion, whether it's sports. Like again, we mentioned that earlier. Like we'd love to have these people on our, you know, podcast if we decide to keep going with this. So mm-hmm. that's why I asked the question: What do you guys think? Of a Power Times podcast. Awesome. So, Gwen Miss, what's up? Uh, just shout out to you. Um, where are you guys watching from? You know, you want to shout out your town, your community, your reservation, your nation, whatever it is. We'll give you a little shout out here before we bring this in for a landing. But this is this has been pretty cool. You know, the to finally go and connect with uh, our people here. Who are the people who are liking our videos, things like that? So, what's up, Wendy? I love the videos. I would and culture like to know the different dances so definitely we could go into that you know the grass dance a fancy dance fancy so this is that could be a whole video in itself that could, that could be like a podcast on itself we can bring in you know fancy dancers we can bring in their stories how they started and tell you about the fancy dance or even same thing for grass and traditional right like mm-hmm. that can just be a podcast on its own like, you know, just ideas flowing around here. Wendy, also want to give you a shout out because you're one of our top fans. You have a badge that says top fan. We want to thank you so much. So that means you've been liking our thank videos. You, you've you. been sharing our videos. You've been commenting. Um, here's a cool thing that I have going on is this past year, I took my camera. I took some tobacco. I took some uh, monetary gift and I gave it to to knowledge keepers. And I asked them the question about fancy dance grass dance traditional dance all the different categories because i too wanted to really know the origin story of that dance and the meaning of that dance so that's something if you want to you know you're following our page we're going to be releasing to to our, our our public our people are following so that they get to know the dances where it came from and i really tried to be authentic with it to figure out okay which area would know more about this dance and the origins like in oklahoma i got to i got to interview michael roberts you know champion uh fancy dancer and and we did an interview when we were in bismarck north dakota connected with him and got to know the, the what he heard from oklahoma the stories of fancy dance where it came from why they do certain things the certain songs things like that so we're going to be helped to educate everybody out there on all of that that we're going to be giving out to everyone so Verlin, what's up from Odaham Nation, Arizona? Hopefully I said that right. Yeah, it's cool to have Arizona in the house. Yeah, oh what's no. up? Got a lot of different people, different uh, nations in the house. You know, So it's really cool to have you. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're uh, closing in on 53 minutes. I know we've been, we, this is our s- second time because of technical difficulties. So we're in well over an hour. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. So it's up to you guys if you guys want to end the podcast now. It's totally up to you. This is really good. How do I effectively share with my 400 plus Facebook friends in OG Cree country where there's too little info around traditional culture, and too much church culture? Oh, that's a, that's, um, that's a big question. For me, like, uh, so how do I effectively share with your, your you're talking about your f- Facebook friends, right? So with us, like, um, the whole idea about power times was to get this culture out to, to people, to get our, our way of life out to people, to show that, you know, we have a beautiful culture, we have beautiful languages, <laughs> we have beautiful methods, and we had, before colonization, we had our own laws, and we had our own legal system, we had our own way of doing things, so we, this was our way to connect with people, 
cool thing about Facebook and social media now is anyone can kind of post their ideas and their opinions on to get a to see the reaction, also the sh- to to service the, pe- the people, right? So I would honestly just make it as simple as start posting it on your Facebook and just continually do it. Big, big, big thing about our success, Marmar Gaming's success, is we're really consistent with uh, content, content, getting our content out there. And at first, you might get one like, one share. Oh one man, one comment. Just a little reflection on that. When I first started streaming, the first three, four months, brutal, brutal. Mm-hmm. One to two viewers leaving um, minutes, uh, time on end, like not getting any views, like, but being consistent, like that's about, that's how you grow is be consistent, be consistent, practice, practice, be consistent over mm-hmm. and over. So like... I know how that feels to not be able to feel like you're not doing anything productive or not making a change or anything like that. So I know exactly how you feel like that. But where I'm at now, streaming wise, like I stream over at Marmar Gaming, I average, you know, 15 to 30 viewers. If you think about that, 15 to 30 viewers is a lot. Mm. That's a lot of people. That's like a classroom, you know, (laughs) like, Yeah. yeah. And to sit there and play video games and talk to chat, like, that is a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If you, like, mentally think about it, if you're in your living room and you bring 30 people into a room, that then, you know, you kind of kind of see. So I think you just grow on that, right? You you have, like, one likes, two likes, but eventually when you start putting on content, like, our live streams this past, in the past two days, over 50,000 views on our live streams over the past two days, just live streaming the grand entry, men's chicken special, men's traditional special. And that's like huge, like 50,000. You're, you're filling up a big arena like Madison Madison Square Garden and things like that. So that's cool. Uh, shout out to Robert Kite we had, Michelle Ferrier. My, these are my family. They're tuning in. What's up? What's up? Morris Crookenneck, you know, a uh, fellow neighbor from Billings. He's in Billings, Montana right now. Shout out to you. Uh, Byron Edward Whitefish says, hi, Jal. I think. <laughs> oh, hi, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> hi, guys. The how many people, I think we need Jal in everything we every do. Every video. Every now. single instant, thing that we instant do. Instant 100 viewers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. AJ Twist, what's up? Uh, thanks yo, for tuning yo. in. Trent uh, Lilwolf. Doreen good. Carrier, what's good? Good to see all you guys here. Uh <laughs> Sharon Lee Fine, they got the the auntie and the mother-in-law. The The mother-in-law, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Dance of Bros. uh, Our foundation, your foundation, is their culture, history, the good and the bad. But take the good and move forward, and that is your foundation. To be proud of who you are. Thanks for sharing, brothers. That was Berlin. Jose, Jose. what's yeah. up, Berlin? Uh, thanks for the kind words. You know, our our culture does make us totally strong. Um, um, I regrowing my hair. I cut it off when my 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 dad passed away, and now I'm regrowing and get that braid going. Marmar got his long hair going. I know Jao's growing his hair out. Trying. You know, that, that's just part of it. You know, part of our warriors um, kind of lifestyle and. And making sure that we're dancing our powwow and listening to the, the songs and going to ceremonies. Uh, had a good sweat in Morley, Alberta. Uh, shout out to Wee Man. I know a lot of you guys know Wee Man. His family, they, they came in and they, they put on a good sweat. And we got over there and, and got to do a sweat lodge. I took my nephews out for their birthday to do a sweat. Shout out to Jordan Miller. That's my brother from uh, Six Nations. Um, really good, uh, really good guy. He hosted us out there every time I'm out in the Toronto area. He comes out and uh, comes and visits and takes us out. We had a really good time. We went to watch the Toronto Blue Jays game and got to check out the scene in Toronto. So it's pretty cool that we get to travel all over with this pal lifestyle. I'm hoping this year we come back to Six Nations and we go down. And the one pal that I really, really want to check out is the Woodland Bowl. Yes, oh, yes, yes, that's the one I've been talking about. <laughs> I've been telling my wife here, you know what? There's one power for sure I'm going to hit, mm-hmm. and that's the Woodland Bowl. Woodland Bowl, I heard, though, there's a rumors, and if anyone's on a chat has uh, any more information about it, I heard that they're going to cut down some of the trees 
that are in the the yes. arbor. But I think that's what makes it so appealing to me is I want to go dance with um, all the like you're in like you another world in sure. another world yeah. dancing with the trees in there the wood lambo. Uh, I'd love to go check it out. Um, look forward to coming that way. It's, gonna, it's cool that Marmar wants to go there. And I know uh, Ja will be with us. So we're going to head that way. Um, any families want to hook us up with a place to stay? And let us yeah. know. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, Thank you, you know, face. it's real. It's been really it'd be really cool to go there and get the recordings, give the content to everyone else to promote that power as well. So everyone could see how beautiful that power is. And um Check it out on YouTube. You know, we don't have uh, the content on our page, but I, I'm sure I've seen a lot on YouTube of all the, the cool content over there at the Woodland Bowl. So I think we are going to call that a podcast for yeah. the day. Yeah. Um, we will sign off again here. Um, we will give out our social media so we can start off with Jao. Where can they find you? Jared Whitefish on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, add me. Do you have uh, um, a YouTube? Uh, no, I don't have a YouTube. I'm just Facebook. Mm -hmm. okay. Instagram, uh, Snapchat. Right on. Uh, obviously, you, you want to, if you guys didn't know, Power Times is on Instagram. You want to check out Instagram. We are on Twitter. Twitter, we're, we're figuring that out. We know, um, our content on Twitter, kind of that audience on there, doesn't hasn't been really resonating a little bit with our, our Power Times content, but we are on Twitter. If you want to follow us on there, we're on Instagram, we're on uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook, so along that, and I think we're going to be heading on to TikTok as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's a lot of, um, I, I don't think that app, that community should be underestimated yes. because there's millions of people on TikTok now, so we're going to go and create an account th um, there so you'll, you'll want to look out and, uh, of our pages if you want to follow me personally Patrick Mitzwing I'm on Facebook Instagram um, those are the kind of the two things that I really hang out hang out on so I have a Facebook page as well do a lot of speaking for communities and things like that so I have a lot of fun connecting with uh, all the people Lydia Gomez what's up from Denver Colorado we see you yo, yo. and how do they find you Marmar uh, you can follow me across most social media platforms, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram at Marmar306. Again, that's M-A-R-M-A-R-306. You can catch me on Facebook. I am usually live in the evenings streaming video games and talking about life in general over at Marmar Gaming. Again, photography, Marmar Photography. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. We had a lot of comments come through, a lot of likes, a lot of shares, um, hearts came in. We really appreciate you so much. You don't know how much we appreciate you to keep this uh, page going. Uh, we all run on volunteer time. Um, a lot of us, uh, this is out of our own pockets to make sure that the videos come out, the content keeps coming out. And, uh, you know, we, we plan to keep keep going for years and years and years. So thank you so much um, for everything. And uh, we'll sign out and hopefully we'll, we'll have this coming on weekly. Just to, it feels so good, honestly, to connect with uh, the people who share and like our page. And uh, thanks, Lucy Begay, um, for the shout out. Thank you so much. And, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Yep. Peace out. Peace.